Hey guys, it's Bill with Competition Cars. Up for sale on Bring a Trailer, which is a seven day online auction site. I have this 1979 Lincoln Town Coupe with 12,400 miles. Now you're gonna see this video on YouTube first. So I have to make these videos in YouTube format, then it goes to Bring a Trailer once the car goes live. So if you see the video first, um, the car might not be up for auction yet. When it goes live, I'll share the link. I'll have four or 500 pictures and lots of other videos besides this one. So let's get back to the car. This is a two owner car. It has 12,400 miles on it. It's a really cool color. Um, I'm waiting for the Marty report to see just how many they made of this color. I call it like a dove gray. It's got the deep burgundy uh, leather interior. It's on the original wheels and tires. These are the original Michelins that came on the car when it was uh, sold new in 1979. I have a set of turbine wheels and tires coming for this car, which I will put on, and I'll do another video once they're on. I just think the turbines will look better but because the car is so original and it adds value, we'll take these wheels and tires off. It'll go with the car, but you'll get both sets. I just like, like I just want to dress it up a little bit. I mean, it looks beautiful like it is, but the turbines really bring these cars to the next level. If you walk around the car and take a look at the paint, it is slick. This is one of the nicest original paint Lincolns that I've had. Typically there's a bunch of rock chips in the front on these headlight areas because they're so flat. I mean, there was literally almost no chips on this car. There was a couple here that I touched up and a couple right here and a couple here right there on the covers. But typically there, there's like 50 or 60 or 70 chips on each side, even on the lower model cars. The bright work is literally perfect. The, the chrome is crystal clear. There's no pitting. There's no black spots, nothing. All the, all the, the um, trim on the tops of the fenders and around the wheel wells are, are in impeccable condition. The body side molding is perfect. You know, typically you'll see some dents in here, you'll see little dents from you know, doors hitting it. This car is straight, I mean laser straight. The top, full vinyl top, in perfect condition. If you come around the back side of the car, the lights, all the, the red lights, there's the, uh, you know, the lenses, they're crystal clean and clear, not faded, not dull. Again, the back bumper, just completely like a mirror. Perfectly, perfectly flawless. All the rubber's in good shape. Everything on this car works. The power antenna, the radio, the clock. There's not one thing on this car that doesn't work. I love the, uh, the gold inset of the Lincoln with the stripe around the window. Coach lights, which is cool. You know, typically you'll see some pitting on the tops of these door handles. Look, perfect. So this car, this car was stored properly. Now we do a paint correction on these cars. Did a multi-stage paint correction. If there was a nick or a scratch or whatever, and it buffs out, fine. If it doesn't, then we touch it up with the factory paint. There's literally two, like really minor ones on this quarter here. There's a little touch up there and a small touch up here and here. Actually, there's little three spots. So very, very, very minimal. Um, if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't see it. This is a really good color to, to touch up. It blended really well. Uh, down low, all the rockers down low look good. Normally these are you know, spattered with rock chips and stuff at the bottom. There's none of that going on. There might have been some spots I touched up down here low, but very, very minimal, like behind where the tires kick up rocks here. So we did touch up some stuff here. Just, and when I say touch up, I'm talking about, I got the factory touch up paint with a bank paint brush, a small brush, and just dotted it in. So you can tell, I mean, the car speaks for itself. The interior, I mean, look at it. It is pretty much flawless. Power seats, power windows, tilt, cruise, air. Um, it's just, you know, loaded with all everything on it and everything works like it should. Look at the clock, it's showing 924 and that's what I got on my watch. 12,472 miles on it and it had, I think, 12,461. So I put about 10, 11 miles on it. It went to the shop, we do an oil change service. We make sure everything is, is good and up to par on the car. And we're gonna come here in the trunk. There's some really neat stuff on the trunk. So again, this is a two owner car. It's got some really neat stuff from, origin, from when it was original. So there's a newspaper, this is really cool. So in the trunk was all this stuff. And that was a newspaper from 1979 when the car was bought, I guess new or within a few months. And it was really interesting to read some of the articles in there about you know energy prices and um, you know inflation. Uh, a lot of the problems I had back then in the 70s are the same things we're, we're dealing with now. So that was kind of neat to look back. And the, there was a bunch of car ads, so it was amazing how much cheaper cars were back then. Anyway, getting back to the what goes with the car, 
it's got the sales brochure, the owner's manual, tons of receipts, um, registration receipts. It documents the car is legit and miles. Another stack of receipts here from over the years. It's got the Lincoln Commitment Gold card. It's got the ownership card with the metal plate, warranty, original registration, Rusty Jones. When because they do, you know, back that back in those days they would, you know, uh, undercoat these cars and then rust proof them. So it's got the Rusty Jones information there. The original window sticker was, you know, for, I guess got a copy. Plus, I got the Marty report that's not here yet. Fourteen thousand one hundred twenty-eight. Okay. And it's got an appearance protection group, fifteen hundred bucks. I'm assuming that's the body side molding. But look at the, but look at the, all the rubbers. Everything is perfect. I mean, this car is just an amazing car. We just saw one that had eight hundred miles, and I have to tell you, this car is actually cleaner and in better shape than the eight hundred mile car we just had. Let's go around to the passenger side, and we'll wrap this video up. And I'll do another video, a driving video, uh, under the hood, and then some undercarriage footage. So again, door panels on this side, flawless. I want you to film, Anthony, when you're done looking, uh, doing the inside, is I want you to get up under the doors. So a lot of times these under the bottoms of the doors will collect rust and, and corrosion. This thing here is perfect. It's clean. It's just absolutely flawless. Pull this back seat up. It looks, you know, obviously it's held up very well. Doesn't even look like anybody's even sat back there. But a beautiful color combination, beautiful car, impeccable condition. And like I said, I've had an 800 mile Lincoln a 6,000 mile Lincoln, an 8,000 mile Lincoln, and two 9,000 mile Lincolns. This has 12,000, and this is absolutely better condition than any of those cars. And, it, and, it, and it's due to the fact that whoever had it originally knew really took the care to preserve it and keep it in good shape. Like I said, all the chrome, the bright work, the grill, the bumpers. I mean, car just, it's just an outstanding car. So bid all you can, good luck. If you have any questions, put them in the comment section. And again, to the YouTube guys, once uh, the auction goes live, like I said, it's probably a month away before it goes live. So once it goes live, in the comment section, I'll share the link. And like I said, you'll have access to more videos and four or 500 pictures. So thanks for taking a look, guys. Have a good day.